In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create beautiful header areas for your WordPress website. And before I get started, I'd like to remind you that if you want to become a professional web designer, I have a free course. This course will teach you everything that you need to know to become a web designer. Let's get started. All right, so in our first example, I'm gonna head over to unsplash.com and search for food. The idea here is we want the main image to cover pretty much the whole screen. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and see what image I'm gonna go with and let's try this one here. I'm gonna click on that and download it. Next, we're gonna come over here to our site and then go to pages and create a brand new page. So I'm gonna say add new. Let's call this page designs. Click on use Divi Builder. And we are going to start from scratch. So I'm going to click here. And what we need here is a full width header. So I'm going to click on this plus button here and then click on full width. Next, we want to make sure that we select full width header. Let's snap this over to the left so we can see what we are designing over here on the right. Now let's head over to the background. Click here. So we want to go to the third tab, which is the background image. Now let's upload our image that we've just downloaded. So I'm going to click here on upload. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it here to add it to my media library. Next, I'm going to click on upload image. The next step now is to make this full width. So I'm going to come over here to design layout and just make this full width because this is our main area that people see when they land on our website. All right. So now that we have this all set, we can see here that the text that we have on this page is very difficult to read. So we need to make some adjustments to our image here to make this look awesome. So what we need to do now is to come over here to overlay. Now it's very important that we uh, add our overlay over here. So I'm going to click now on my color, which is going to be black. Now I can go into uh, this eyedropper tool and drag the slider down a little bit to reveal my image there in the background. So you can see here just at about uh, 0 0.0008, we can start to see the detail of uh, what this is about. So you may want to increase this a little bit more, uh, but make sure that it's enough for us to be able to read the text right there in the center of the screen. So now that we have our overlay sorted, we need to come over here to our layout. And for this design, I want to make sure everything is in the middle because our whole image has an overlay. Now let's just, let's adjust our text. So I'm gonna give this my favorite font. I'm also going to make it all caps, add some letter spacing. I'm also going to come over here to my paragraph text, do the same thing, choose my font. We're gonna increase the size a little bit. And finally, we need to customize our button here. So I'm gonna come over here click on activate, and then we're just gonna add our button color, which is going to be white. And then for my background, we're gonna go with red and we're gonna do the same with the border. And then finally, I need to add my font. So I'm gonna come over here to default font, change this to Poppins, select it. Uh, for this one here, let's make it all caps. And let's also add some letter spacing. So I'm gonna come over here give it a bit of letter spacing, and let's also make it uh, maybe bold. Okay, I've updated my text. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Now, because this is going to be our main uh, header of our site, I'm going to delete this top section here. And now finally, we have our design. So as you can see, we have a hint of the product in the background, and now our text is much easier to read because we added an overlay. Let's move on to our next example. So to make things easier for us, we're just gonna duplicate what we have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it by clicking this button. So now let's look for an image that we're going to use for our next example. So I think this image here will work really well because our main subject is over here to the right. So let's go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna click here and let's download it. Excellent, so now back over here on our site, let's go ahead and change things around. So I'm going to now click here on my full width header settings and straight away, I want to move my text here so that it's over to the left. So let's go ahead and go to the design tab, click on layout and we're gonna align this to the left. Next, we need to upload our image. So I'm gonna come back over here to my content, click on background, and we are going to click now on this um, image tab, delete this one, click on this plus button, and now let's upload the one that we've just downloaded to our media library, and now it's there. So the next step is to upload an image. So now it's going to be added to our site. So as you can see here, on the left is where our main text is and over, right, over here on the right is where our main subject is that we need to focus on. So I'm going to now come over here to my gradient and let's start adding our gradient. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button 
So my first color is going to be black, like that. And my second color is going to be transparent. So I'm going to click here. So right now we can't see the gradient. So let's scroll all the way down here until we find place gradient above background image. Activate that. And now you can see that we have our gradient, but it's facing the wrong way. So what we need to do is to change the gradient direction. So let's set this to 90 degrees. And now you can see it's starting over from the left. So this means our text over here on the left is going to be easier to read because it is now on this gradient. So what we can do next is to adjust our gradient so that it doesn't go all the way over there. So let's scroll back and to, adju to adjust that, we're just gonna drag this like that and you can see my right side is getting lighter. So we just need to do it uh, ever so slightly. So I'm just gonna leave this at about 56%, which is almost halfway. And I can always make some adjustments as time goes on. So right now, our text here is going all the way, right? We don't want that because it is just taking too much space. So let's come over here to our design. And this time, we want to adjust the sizing. So I'm going to come over here, select sizing, content width, and let's bring it down to about 50% and see what that looks like. So I think that looks great. So that's 52%. Let's update that. And now... We have a beautiful uh, image here, so we can slightly see the aeroplane there in the background, but our main subject here is the diving, which is over here, and this looks much, much better. All I have to do now is to um, change the title. In this example, this is a bit more creative because we want to showcase just one main product on our main header area. So the one I'm going to go with is this one here, this um, Nike trainers. So... I've already gone ahead and downloaded it, but what I've done is I've gone into Photoshop because I want to make a few adjustments to this. So let me show you what I did ahead of time. So what I did with this is I downloaded it onto my computer, added it onto Photoshop. So what I did here is I just wanted to make sure it's in my right position because I want this on the third of my canvas. And then this is where my text is going to go. So now that I've downloaded it, the next step now is to save this and then take it over to Divi. So I've already saved it. So back over here now on my site, I'm going to duplicate this like that. And then let's go into our settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, come all the way down to my background. And let's go ahead now and add our image by clicking on our background image here, deleting what we have. And then we're going to upload my trainer. So I'm going to click here on Upload files, select files. So this, as I mentioned, is on my computer and here it is. I'm going to double click on it. And there we go. Now I'm going to click on upload. And now we can see that it's on our main hero area. So this style does, doesn't really work because I'm now covering a bit of detail on the actual shoe. So what we need to do is to get rid of this gradient by coming over here and just deleting it. So just by deleting my background, you can see now my image is nice and bright. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start customizing this to make it look the way we want. So I can now go into my text here and for my call to action button here, I can leave it as it is or I can go in and further customize it by coming over here to design. Let's go to button. So the trick here is you want your button to have the colors that we have on the actual shoe. So let's head over here and go for our background color. So I don't need my border, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it like that. So over here now for my background color, I can just scroll down here and you can see I've got my very dark color here which resembles uh, the color that we have here on the shoe. So that looks good enough and it's bright and it's uh, clear enough for us to see it as a call to action. So that's great. I can also uh, increase the padding of my button by coming all the way down here and then maybe 24 on the sides. So that looks much, much better now. I can go ahead and save. And this now is my main hero area. And I'm sure you can agree with me that this 
is really doing the job of showing us the main product as well as the content about the main product on the left. So this is how you create amazing header areas for your website. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.